Hello viewers. Welcome to Best Product Review. Today, we are here with some of the best MIG welder for the money that work quite good. You can also find their details like major features and options in our buying guide to easily differentiate between them. This will allow you to buy the perfect MIG welder for your needs. If you want more information and updated pricing on the product mentioned be sure to check the links in the description below. Oh yes, since you're a new channel don't forget to subscribe to us, and if you're on YouTube click the alert notification, as it will help us grow. So let's get started with the video. Number 5. Lotus 175 MIG Welder. Lotus is a trademark of versatility and adaptivity. This MIG welder comes with ultra features to support aluminum, stainless steel, and mild steel welding. It can handle easily 1-4 steel and aluminum up to 3-16. The stability of the arc is enhanced by the premium quality wire feeder, and functionality is made vast by an aluminum spool gun. The transformer coil is high-grade copper wires that make it durable and ensure reliability. While operating at 220 volts this model was able to provide me with amperage ratings as high as 175 amps. This unit is pretty heavy, the same as Hobart 210, so it would be wise to set it over a cart. My fellow welders were blown away by the extra accessories this brand offers like Argon Regulator. The settings are pretty sensitive, so in this department, you have to be careful if you want spatter-free welds. Although the company offers extra accessories some of them are not of that high quality take welding gun for example, but still it lies in my list and would highly recommend to aluminum welders. So, in short, Lotus MIG Welder has an excellent interface that will help you in making arcs over a wide range of workpieces. You will get high amperage ratings along with explicit controls and robust structures. It is an excellent unit to produce welds of any kind over different workpieces. Number 4. Hobart 140 MIG Welder Yes, again, Hobart, but with a different model and lower amperage. Hobart Handler 140 MIG Welder can weld mild steel of thickness up to 0.25 inches. This welding machine can work with reliability, with many welding projects up to 140 volts. All the special features are like the Hobart Handle 210 which will help you in drawing precise arcs. I like the robust knobs this model had. It will help you to set any configuration perfectly. The welding arc runs smoothly and gives a clean weld with accuracy. It's a pretty versatile model and can work with flux core and gas tank as well. It has come to my observations that flux core welding creates much spattering with this model, so if it is switched with a gas tank, the results are high standard. You can work on all the industrial metals like cast iron, copper, titanium, etc. It has excellent power delivery output that ranges from 25A to 140A. For portability, a welding cart is kind of must because of its 57 pounds weight, although you can carry it this one is meant for your safety and stable welding. Number 3. Hobart MIG Welder. My top on the list is Hobart Handler 210 that is truly the marvel of sparking technology. An exquisite combination of high-end components that can sustain high amperage duty with promising elite quality weld. This welder supports voltage from 115 and 230 volts, which are easy to switch thanks to the MVP plug. I found that it works great when on 230 volts. It can seriously weld steel sheets up to 0.2 inches or 24 gauge in a single cycle. The vast range of voltage control allowed me to generously tune the weld quality and precision as per the nature of the job. So if you are working on an adamant project that includes home repairing, car restorations, you will be glad to know it can handle all of it. I used it for some of the hardest jobs of my career and achieved aesthetic outcomes. This welding machine is heavy, but you will be surprised to know as it welds aluminum. Also, considering the vast characteristics, it's worth it to invest the high budget into this workhorse. The Hobart 210 has made it easy to change drive rollers, spool guns, and not to mention the 7-dial voltage shift from 120 to 230 volts. 
This beast is a complete playing ground for beginner welders, and based on the consumer responses, they love to have it. Owing to its heavy weight of 83 pounds you might get annoyed about its portability. But since it's a combo it has extended features which gives less spatter issues. Above all, you will find the weld quality better than the other ones. Trust me when I say this can serve you greatly. Number 2. Everlast MIG Welder. The Everlast PowerMig 200 welder offers dual voltage inputs and weighs only 35 pounds due to inverter technology. It's not only MIG capable, you can also use it for flux core welding or as a stick welder. When your machine can stick weld and connect gas at the same time, all you need to buy is a connector block and you gain TIG ability too, although Everlast doesn't say so. The PowerMig 200 features a burn back control, automatically adjusting the wire length at restart. 200 amps can weld 3 eighths in steel in a single pass. Dual digital displays and a low spatter arc control system are nice features in this price range. Pre-flow and post-flow improves weld quality, reducing porosity by starting the gas shield before the arc begins and cutting the gas off after the arc stops. The burn back control feature resets the length of the wire feed before you strike another arc. Another nice feature is the digital controls that give you a nice reading of exactly what your voltage and wire speed is. Everlast includes a gas regulator with this rig and backs it with a 3-year warranty. With stick capability and the ability to use it on either household or industrial power, this is quite a bit of welder for the money. Number 1. Forney MIG Welder. The Forney Easy Weld 140 FCI is a great MIG welder for home use. The FCI in the name means flux core inverter. Inverter technology is lighter than traditional transformers used in most welders, meaning this welder delivers 140 amps even though it only weighs 19 pounds. The one thing this welder doesn't offer is true MIG capability. Flux core wire doesn't deliver the same clean, indestructible level of welding as a gas shielded arc. It provides shielding by evaporating flux. For the average home welder, the difference is minor. However, if you need to weld aluminum or stainless steel, flux core wire isn't up to it and you'll need to find a MIG-capable machine. The 140 amp rating is about as hot as you can get without stepping up to 220 volts. That's enough to weld a quarter inch steel. The duty rating on this machine is 30% at 90 amps, pretty astounding on a machine in this price range. There's probably not a MIG welder in this class that has more satisfied customers, a big reason it's the Weld Guru Weekend Warrior selection for best MIG. If you don't have a lot to spend, then I would recommend taking a look at our cheap MIG welders for under $500 guide. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this unbiased review. And please don't forget to subscribe us to get the news of upcoming reviews, stay tuned. Fuckers with the best